It was a night of success for Labour at the parliamentary election in Stoke-on-Trent, but also a night of change. TV historian Tristram Hunt became the new MP for Stoke Central after much criticism for parachuting into politics after veteran Labour MP Mark Fisher stood down earlier this year. Tristram Hunt sealed Labour's success of taking all three of the Stoke-on-Trent constituencies. He attacked the BNP for what he describes as poisonous and cancerous politics. The message needs to go out to people that the effect of voting BNP has real consequences for, for jobs and investment and for the reputation of the city. And what the curtailing of the BNP vote in the parliamentary election shows is that you know Stoke is turning its back on that kind of politics at a, at a parliamentary level, and that's good news. Rob Flello remains Labour's MP for Stoke-on-Trent South and isn't too concerned about a hung parliament. Well, I will work with anybody that furthers um, what we need in our city. You know, I don't mind who they are, as long as they and their heart are interested in what we have here in the Silicon Trent and turning it into the first-class city that it should be and can indeed be again, uh, then I will work with them, absolutely. Joan Wally kept her Stoke North seat in the Commons. She received nearly 18,000 votes, her highest support since her landslide in 1997. I'm glad that this election um, is now over and we can start on the real work, but obviously we'll be waiting to see what happens nationally because what happens nationally will affect what we do here in Stoke-on-Trent. How much longer Labour will have the safe seats of the Stoke-on-Trent constituencies is unclear, but the party is looking to the future with a new MP to stand for the city. Robert Trigg, Staffs Live, Stoke-on-Trent.